Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I'm going to be showing you all of the historical romance books that are in my book collection. So this is my historical romance shelf or cart, it's technically on wheels. <laughs> so these are all my historicals on this cart. I honestly thought I had way more but there's like four different levels and they're all double stacked so I have room to go buy more. I probably shouldn't go buy more currently because they cost money obviously. I actually have though gotten a few of these for free so that's a plus but anyway um yeah these are all of my historical romances. It goes down two more shelves down here um and so I thought I would share with you what books I have in my collection because I love watching these kinds of like collection videos and like showing off my books. I just do so there might be some close-up shots and other stuff like that but I'm kind of just going to be taking these from the shelf and kind of like showing it off to you and letting you know if I've read it or not because normally how I sort my books is on shelves like I have all the books that I've read together and then another shelf is all the books I haven't read. This is the first time I've had like a shelf where it's all mixed up and so I've read some of these and then I haven't read some others. <laughs> I also have these in alphabetical order so by author and then it goes by series too so this is a starts here and then it goes down this way and this way and down one more and another and then once that part is full i will flip the card around and we can go to the other side where we'll keep going in alphabetical order <laughs> so let's start with this top shelf here basically the shelf is authors whose last name starts with a and goes through d or part of D because the rest of D goes on to the next shelf. <laughs> the first three books are my Jennifer Ashley books. I actually have two of the same book and then one of the books in this series. So first is The Madness of Lordy and Mackenzie by Jennifer Ashley, one of my favorite historicals ever. And then I also have the other edition of it. I This is one of the books that I've wanted both editions for because I love both of them. I just do. They are so pretty to me. Like this purple and just them holding each other it is so cute with the red dress beautiful i've only read three books in the series so i don't own the other books this is book four i believe and i haven't read it yet um i think i got this at a half price books or something and it's really cute there's a little like star if you can see my thumb right here a star cut out in the corner i love it i think it gives personality and so yeah this is the duke's perfect wife the next book that I have to read in this series. I haven't read it yet. Um, so I need to collect more of Jennifer Ashley's books, but aren't, aren't her books just so pretty? They're very pleasing to look at too. Next was a cover by, this is Bright Stars Promise by Karen A. Bale. I think this is a zebra romance. That's what like these mean or something like that. I don't know, honestly. Um, I love when some of these uh, clinch covers have this little square in the corner, um, but like, look at this cover. This is one I haven't read yet, but like, Stunning. This was definitely a cover by. I got this Mary Balog, Ballo, but I never know how to say her name. So many people say her name differently. Um, this is Web of Love. I got this Mary Balog book from a mystery bag box. I bet a bunch of these are from that too. Um, but I've never read a Mary Balog, but I love all the flowers and like how shiny this one is. Also, let me know which ones you've read and loved and like which ones you think I should read because I would love to know. I then have three Maya Banks books in my collection. I adore Maya Banks and I want to get the other books. I think there's two in her Highlander books that I have not purchased yet. So um, of course is Never See Jesus Scott, one of my favorite books of all time. I love this one. And then uh, these two are part of the same series, if I'm not mistaken. This is book one. I think it's the McCabe trilogy. And this one's book two. This one was very kindly gifted to me by my friend Aramis. I love you, Aramis. These are amazing books as well. Um, I really love this series. I love Maya Banks. Maya Banks' is Highland books. They're just so entertaining. So this is book two and book one. And I need to get to book three to finish my collection. And I need to get book two in this series as well. This was another cover by, this is called Gentle Fury by Monica Berry. I have a feeling this is an American set historical, which isn't really my vibe, but I think it was like 99 cents. And like, it's probably my oldest looking historical on this shelf, honestly. A recent purchase of mine was A Reckless Match by Kate Bateman. This is the only book I think behind me that is like the new paperback size, which I'm not really a fan of the size because it doesn't match all my other historicals. But I think this cover 
is stunning. I like binged a bunch of Kate Bateman's books for the Historical Romance Readathon, and I was supposed to read this one, but I decided to read some of her backlist before I got to this one, and I plan to start this one very soon, but this one is just gorgeous. This is like a rivaling families one that I've heard amazing things about. Tender Marauder is another one that I purchased because of the cover, because honestly, what do you get from this cover? You get Vikings, and I want to read a good Viking romance. I've read a few, but they're all by the same author, Lucy Morris. I love Lucy Morris, and she's the only author that I've read from a Viking romance of that was actually good. And all the other ones I've read are three stars or lower. So I'm hoping to read more Viking historicals that I love. So I'm hoping this one's it, but look at this stunning, gorgeous cover. We have another one of those books with the little square in here. It's funny because if you look in this cover, you have like a couple embracing, right? I have, oh my gosh, these dogs are barking. I have the book that has this couple on there. Like I have it. It'll come up in a little bit, but like I have this book. I think it's so funny that like this couple is on the cover of so many books in like this little square and I own this book too. One that I really want to read is The Lily and the Sword by Sarah Bennett. I don't know when I want to read it. I think it's like a kidnapping romance. That's probably why, but like this cover is stunning. Look at, look at them. They are beautiful and it made, oh my gosh. This is like a stunning book. I want to read it really badly. I got this book in a mystery bag box. Um, it is Winterfire by Joe Beverly. This doesn't look like a historical. Like I wouldn't think on the outside that it's a historical. So I need to look more into this one um, and see if I want to keep it or not, honestly. But I have heard like good things about Joe Beverly. Let me know what book I should read if you have read Joe Beverly before. One that I think that I'm going to be keeping just because of the cover, because I've tried reading it like four times and I just couldn't get into it, is Ravenburn by Laura Black. Like look at this. And then it also has yellowed edges too. Like, I think that is stunning. Look at her outfit. It is gorgeous. Next are the books by Kerrigan Byrne. Um, I only own two. One I have read, which is The Highwayman, which is a like enemies to lovers romance slash also maybe a second chance romance. And then uh, we have How to Love a Duke in 10 Days. I don't know anything about this one, but like her covers are always amazing. They are so pretty. One historical that I've owned for years is this book. This is The Grimoire Plaid by Gail, Gail Callen. I love this cover and I need to read this book already. My only issue is I think that it's like book two or three in a series. So I just need to bite the bullet and get the other books because like this one is stunning. I love it. I don't know why, but this cover gives me a lot of Jamie and Claire vibes. Like they look like Jamie and Claire to me. They do. I've heard great things about Candace Camp. I got this one in a mystery bag box. Um, this is a winter scandal. And um, I think she's holding like a masquerade mask. So I love historicals with masquerades involved in them. We have our first step back to show off. Okay, this is a One Touch of Scandal by Liz Carlisle. This is another book I got in a mystery bag box. But here is the step back. I'm always a sucker for a green, a pink, and a yellow dress just because those are my favorite colors. And so look at this, stunning. And then the little tag up here says, one touch could never be enough. <gasps> Swoony. You know, a lot of people love this one. <laughs> this is Lord of Scoundrels by Loretta Chase. I've never read a Loretta Chase. This is the only Loretta Chase I own, but I love this cover as I'm gonna say for many of these books. And I know that some of my friends absolutely adore this book. Like I love like the painting-esque style of historicals. Like that's something I love. Next I have uh, my only Catherine Coulter, The Hellion Bride, two page, two pager, two page step back. And like the cover's holographic, which is so awesome. When I first saw this in half price books, I like squealed cause it is so pretty to look at. Okay, so I have one book left right here that I'm holding in my hand, but it goes with all the other ones on the next shelf. So we're gonna be going to this next shelf. And all of these books are only authors who start, whose last name starts with the letter D. So these are D books. <laughs> One of the authors I probably own the most books from um, when it comes to historicals <laughs> is Tessa Dare. So this is um, her first book in the Castles Ever After series, Romancing the Duke. This was kindly gifted to me by Victoria over at Victoria Reads Romance. I love you, girl. Um, and this is the first book in that series. And then I'll just show really quickly the other books I own by her and if I've read them or not. These are the other two books in the Castles Ever After series. Book two is Say Yes to the Marquess and book three is When a Scott Ties the Knot. And here are the step backs for these ones. This one is one of my favorites of all time. And this one is too. I just love like long dresses, like 
on the ground like this like i love historicals where like the heroine is like laying down or like on her side and her dress is just fan out <laughs> and also i want to mention really fast that naima did give this one to me over at naima's reads i love her so much um so thank you so much girly i love this one so much then we have the three books currently out in the girl meets duke series we're all still waiting on book four so i have read um all of these books and i've also read all the books from the previous series i just talked about but these are the girl meets duke series books um this is the duchess steel beautiful we have the governess game book two and then book three is a wallflower wager these are all so pretty i've also read all of her spindle cove books but i only own these ones in the series there's so many in the series and i only own these so i do own book one which is a night to surrender i love the double like page ones they're so pretty and then i also have two of the novellas in the series um this one is The Beauty and the Blacksmith, and this one is Lord Dashwood Missed Out. These were both gifted to me uh, by Izzy over at Happy For Now. I love you, Izzy. Thank you. Um, these are just so fun and cute and really quick reads, but I do recommend reading the rest of the books with it too. And then I also have the last book in the series, which is Do You Want to Start a Scandal? And this is the pretty step back. Look at her dress. Are you joking? One of her standalone novellas that I own is The Scandalous, Desolute, No Good, Mr. Right. And this was very kindly gifted to me by Tori over at Novel Life. So thank you so much. Um, so I'm always going to shout out my friends when I'm talking about a book that they purchased for me because I'm eternally grateful. Like they did not have to do this. So that's why I'm always shouting out my lovely, lovely friends. So thank you so much, Tori. And then uh, lastly, by Tessa Dare, I own three of her old Older books. Um, I can't remember which series they're in. I think these two are in a series in this. Okay, so I own one of these books uh, from her first series ever, like the one that goes with the goddess, goddess of the hunt or whatever. I think this is book two or book three, which is Surrender of a Siren. And then I also own two books in her other series, the one that's dealing with horses and stuff. So I own book two, which is Twice Tempted by a Rogue, and book three, Three Nights with a Scoundrel. I have to get book one in here and the other books in this series, but I've been loving collecting her books um, because I own a lot of them. And like, I feel accomplished when I own a lot of an author's backlist. I'm like, look at all of their books and I own them. It looks so cool. Next in our alphabetical order is an author called Sandra Davidson. And this book is a love for all time. And this one has one of my favorite step backs of all time. Look at this in all of its glory. <laughs> it's not very appropriate, but I love it. It's so pretty. So I tried reading this once or twice and I couldn't get into it, but I'm keeping this because like, hello, hello. <laughs> These are all books by Claire de la Croix. I think that's how you say her name. Um, I know that not all of these are in the same series, even though they look like it. So I'm just going to say the books whatever books they are i don't know if they're all in the same series oh wait no they are because they're at the top it all says they're part of the bride quest series so i think i have them in order but there are more books in the series but like these are the order for now i know i'm very confusing i'm sorry um i think there's more books in the series but from what i have right now these ones are in order i bought them even though i haven't read any by books by claire de la croix because um i'm in love with these covers I love them so much. So first is The Damsel. Isn't it shiny and beautiful? And you wouldn't think that this book has a step back, but bam, it does. Look how cute. This tagline says, a proud maiden, she vowed never to love again until he rode back into her life. So I assume this is a second of chance or romance. The next book is The Heiress. And there's also a step back for this one. Like this one kind of gives me like Viking vibes, not gonna lie. The next one is The Princess. This one isn't as shiny as the other ones, but it doesn't have a step back. So I wonder why some of them have a step back and why some don't. And this one's The Temptress. And this one has a different like hue to the background color. So that's why I thought that they might not all be in the same series, but what do I know? And this one also doesn't have a step back. So half of them have step backs and half of them don't. So I don't know what that means. Next is another cover by, this is Haven's Gift by Jan, Janelle, Janelle, man, I can't read. Janelle Dennison. Next are two Christina Dodd books that I purchased mainly for the step back. So this one is Some Enchanted Evening and it's just so pretty, look at it. I think this is the next book in the series or this is the first one, I don't know. These are a part of the same series. This one is um, The Prince Kidnaps a Bride. 
And then this one is so pretty too. I love it. Next, I have Pirates Wild Paradise by Katie Douglas. This is the couple that's in all those squares that I was telling you about earlier. Let's grab one of the books. This one again is Bright Stars Promise. Look, you see this couple up here? Bam, it's them. So <laughs> yeah. I got this from a mystery box that I bought off of eBay. That video is gonna be linked down below if you wanna see me unbox these books all for the first time, like two years ago, I wanna say. Um, and this was one of the books in there. I found, I was sent like amazing books from the person who boxed my books up. And then the last book on this shelf is Lie Down in Roses by uh, Shannon Drake. This was definitely another cover by, and we have yellow pages too. Okay, so I'm just gonna show the clip for the next shelf, like a pan over of it, just because I am going through some health issues right now and I can't just be squatting on the floor and stuff like that. Um, right now. So I'm just going to be pulling them off the shelf and showing them to you. They won't be behind me like these ones are. Um, but yeah, you can like see them in the shot and I'll be showing them off one by one. So first I have um, my Donna Fletcher's. I love Donna Fletcher. And so these are the three that I own by her. Um, these two are two of the books in the Sinclair, Sinclair Brothers series. I've read all the books in the series. There's four, but I only own two of these books. So book two in the series is Under the Highlander Spell. And then book three, which is my favorite in the series, is the High the Angel and the Highlander. These are just so pretty because they have like that artistic style to them that I love. Also, same with Dark Warrior. I love like the painting aspect in here. And look at this guy's back. Swoon. Swoon worthy. Um, but this one is so pretty also with like the flowers in the background too. The only Julie Garwood that I own is for the roses, and this cover is just stunning. Like it is so pretty. I own two Heather Graham books and they were both from my library as discard books. So at the top they're labeled and stamped discard cause they were gonna like trash them or throw them out. But um, they first put them in like the freebie section. And so I snagged them even though they're falling apart. Like why not? This is the step back for the Heather Graham. This Heather Graham one, the rebel. And then this one is, and one more, one war gray. Um, and this is a step back for it. Another cover by was Emerald Enchanted by Patricia Grasso. The, uh, if you can see like the couple is also raised, which I love historicals like that, where like there's texture and the couple is raised off of the page. It's so cool. Rebel Wind is really stunning too. Even though it looks like an American historical, I'll take it because it was a cover by and I love her dress. <laughs> a lot of these books I bought because I love the dress that the heroines are wearing and I love dresses. So one of my favorite historicals in my collection is Charmed by Catherine Hart. I first heard about this book from Samantha over at Books with Samantha. She has like hundreds of historicals. If you wanna see a lot of historicals, go to Samantha's channel. Um, but I first saw this on her channel because look, it's a holographic one like she's not there and then she's there she's not there and then she's there and it has like this texture stuff on there um but it's all around the entire book and so when i saw this at my bookstore i was like grab it i've seen samantha have it and i've wanted it the magic by uh robin lee hatcher is next with a another step back i think this is like a piratey one because they're on like a pirate ship a new favorite historical author of mine is karen hawkins so i own two of her books um these are in the same series this is her duchess diary series which is one of my favorite historical romance series ever i need to get book two so i can like have all the books in the series so book one is how to capture a countess and book three is how to entice an enchantress i read this one during the historical romance readathon so if you want to know my thoughts on it it's in that vlog but I love these books. They're so fun and entertaining. And the second one is like how to pursue a princess or something. And so, yeah, I have been loving Karen Hawkins writing style. I'm like, I need to purchase more of her books for sure. I own three Lorraine Heath books. I haven't read any of her books, but um, this one is Falling Into Bed with a Duke. Her dress, again, stunning. And the step back for that one is beautiful. Next is a fan favorite, with, which is Once More My Darling Rogue. And then I also have Passions of a Wicked Earl. One of my favorite historical covers is The Dragon and Jewel by Virginia Henley. And it's another one where the couple is raised off the page and there's this gold all around the book. It's just stunning. However, I read a Virginia Henley with um, Jess and uh, Samantha and Riley. We read it for Samantha and Jess's book club. And um, it wasn't good. It was like one of her earlier books or something like that, The Pirate and the Pagan, that was the title. And we, most of us DNF'd it. 
or hated it. So um, I might just be looking at this one. Also, isn't that cool? He has a dragon tattoo on his bicep. <laughs> Next is The Beast of Bezik by Emily Howard. I have read this book. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Next is a book by Hannah Howell. This is Amber Flame. I purchased this one because this cover again has the art style that I like with historicals. It looks like a painting and then it also wraps around with the flowers and then there's even stuff on the back. That's really cute. I have tried to read two Hannah Howells and I didn't like them. So hopefully, hopefully I will like this one. Next are two Elizabeth Hoyt books. The other ones are continuing on to the bottom shelf. Um, so first is um, Dearest Rogue. I love this one. Our heroine is blind and our hero is her bodyguard um, and they fall in love. It's an age gap romance and it has a two page step back. And then I also own um, Duke of Desire, which is a book in, which is one of the books in her Maiden Lane series. And then the step back is another two page one. She always makes two page step backs in her books and I love it. So we're done with the third shelf. Now we're gonna be going on to the bottom shelf. This one goes from um, authors whose last name starts with H to the letter J. So these two books are part of the Legend of the Four Soldiers series by Elizabeth Hoyt. And so this one is To Seduce a Sinner with this step back. And then this one is To Desire a Devil with this step back. <laughs> the next book that I have is The Love Affair of an English Lord. Next is Sinful and Satin by Madeline Hunter. I haven't read either of those two. And then I also haven't read this one, which is Untie My Heart by Judith Ivory. I love this step back because this one's cut out at the ribbon. And we also have a clinch step back, which is so, so beautiful. I own two Eloisa James books. Uh, first, I have her newest book, which is How to Be a Wallflower. I lied, I guess, earlier about that Kate Bateman book. I forgot I own this one too, which is like in the new paperback size. Like if you hold these together, they're not the same size. So this is the new mass market paperback size or something like that. I don't know. But this came out in March this year and I won a giveaway for this book on her TikTok. Um, and so I got it with a, a pretty bookmark. So yeah, I won it from the author and I'm really grateful. And I, I, I think this cover is just freaking stunning. And then I also own The Ugly Duchess by Eloisa James. And it's another step back with a dress all laid out, which is stunning. Next is His Wicked Ways by Samantha James. This was very kindly gifted to me by Tori over at Novel Life. And this one has a very cute step back too. I love it. Like there's, a, uh, I think a man on a horse and then you open it up and he's still there. It's so cute to cut out one. Then we have another Samantha James, which is The Secret Passion of Simon Blackwell. This step back's interesting because it's already like cut out a little bit. And you have this. And then I also have What the Duke Desires by Sabrina Jeffries. Cover that I love is this one. This is The Highlander's Princess Bride by Vanessa Kelly. I have Fantasy Lover by Sherlyn Kenyon over here just because like it looks like a historical, but it's not. This is a paranormal romance, so... Yeah, it looks like it'd be a historical, but it's not. It's like a paranormal romance, like a modern day woman who like ends up sucking out a man from a book. And yep. <laughs> Next is The Bridegroom by Joan Johnston. This is the step back for that one. Very unique. I also love this cover of Nicole Jordan's book, To Desire a Wicked Duke. The only Sophie Jordan that I own is Too Wicked to Tame. And it's another one of the painting style ones that is so beautiful. And then I also own A Dangerous Love by Brenda Joyce. I got this in like a mystery bag or something from a bookstore, I'm pretty sure. Now we're gonna be flipping the cart around to show you what is on the other side. The other side only has three shelves full, so not all four like this side. Okay, so I turned it around um, and we're gonna get started. This top one is K through L, so Johanna Lindsay's in the last, but then she bleeds onto the next shelf too. So up to here are all <laughs> Katniss, they see you, they see you. Can you say hi? Wave hi, 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 wave hi. <laughs> He's waving hi. And then Ollie is here too. He's too tiny. Let's see. Do you want to say hello? Say hello. Did you want to sit here? Is that the thing? You want to sit here? I can't have you whacking your tail at me. I know. I know. I know. 
I cannot have you whacking your tail at me. Okay, go bye. So for me talking about Lisa Kleypas' books, we're gonna go by series. <laughs> These are all of her Ravenel <laughs> books. Um, I adore this series by her. This was the first series I read by her. I don't know which series is my favorite, but this series might be, it might be. The first one is Cold Hearted Rake with another beautiful pink dress. Book two is Marrying Winterborn with a wedding step back. Book three is my favorite in the series, which is Devil in Spring. Book four is Hello Stranger. Book five is Devil's Daughter. Book six is Chasing Cassandra, one of my favorites in the series. Here's the step back. I don't know why that was so difficult to open. <laughs> and then the most recent book in the series that I have not read yet is Devil in Disguise. The next Lisa Kleypas is Prince of Dreams. This one just looks so old, but look at that. It's so pretty. Then I have Love Come to Me. I have not read this one and Prince of Dreams yet, but I totally need to. Next are two books in the Wallflower series. I've read all the books in the Wallflower series. This is the prequel to the series, again, The Magic. I wish I had the one with the step back, but I sadly don't. But this one is still so pretty because it has the painting style to the cover. And then book one in the series is Secrets of a Summer Night. I also have read all of her books in the Hathaway series, but I only own two of them physically. We have Mind Till Midnight. This one is book one in the series, and this one was very kindly gifted to me by Jen over at the Book Refuge. I love you so much, girl. And this is one of her favorite books ever, so uh, she gifted it to me so I could finally read it, and I'm so glad she did because I love this one. And then the other book in the series that I own is I think book three, Twimped Me, Temp, Twimped Me, Tempt Me at Twilight. Um, this is a really fun one. And I love the little added like metallic um, step back side. I think that's really cool. And then the last Lisa Kleepus book that I own in physical form is Someone to Watch Over Me. I actually found this at a Goodwill, which I rarely find books in the Goodwill near me, like good romance books. Like they're all books that are really ridiculous, you know? I've never heard anybody talk about this one, but I think this one is, is a standalone. I adore the cover for this one. This one's called Sweet Starfire. I don't know why, like this cover is one of my favorites. Like it is so beautiful to me. I also haven't read uh, Clay, part of the Fraser series by Anna Lee. This was like in a mystery bag or something. And then another one I haven't read is Crayol Caress. I think that's how you say that name by El Elizabeth Lee. And then all the rest on this shelf are Johanna Lindsay books and then it bleeds onto the next shelf. So um, I'm just going to talk about the ones that are on the top one really fast. Okay, so first I have All I Need Is You with a very shiny cover. It also has this very yellow and bright step back. Johanna Lindsay has some of my favorite covers ever. They're just so beautiful. This one is Defy, Not the Heart. And then I also have Gentle Rogue by her. This is her pirate one. My lovely friend Nicole over at Who Picked This Book sent me uh, Hearts of Flame. It's so pretty and it has yellow pages. I love it. Okay, so we're gonna be going on to uh, shelf number two on this side. This one go starts with Johanna Lindsay and then it goes all the way to um, the M's. It starts with the last name, it starts with M's. So let's continue on with my Johanna Lindsay's. Next I have Joining. I really hate how I have this Sharpie on there, but there's nothing I can do about it. If I find a better one later on in life, I'll trade it out or something. Um, but this is the step back for that one. Next is Man of My Dreams. This one. <laughs> this one's very iconic. Next is Savage Thunder. I don't know if I honestly will ever read this one just because I watched Lily C. Reads, if you don't know her. Um, I don't know if she makes booktube videos anymore, but years ago she made a video about like, this is the worst book I've ever read in my entire life. And it was like a rant review and it was hilarious. And so, yes, I own the book. I don't know if I'd ever read it just because some of the things she talked about in the book, but like, I'm glad I own it. <laughs> Next is Say You uh, Say you Love Me. I was about to say Say You Still Love Me. I don't know why, um, but he has neon yellow hair, which is so cool. And then I have one of the most coveted historical romance books ever. Sorry, I gotta throw the ball, <laughs> um, which is Tender as the Storm without the sticker on his butt. I know I got this in a in the eBay mystery box video I talked about that's linked down below. I was freaking out when this was in there. And then the last Johanna Lindsay that I own is Warrior's Woman. I think this is another Fabio cover that she has, but this one is so pretty. Next, I have A Princess for Christmas by Julia London. This was also gifted to me by Tori over at Alpha Life this past Christmas. I love you, Tori. Thank you. And this one has a pretty step back too. 
This was another one of my uh, library's discard books. This is a, an Elizabeth Lowell called Desert Rain. I have three Cat Martin books. First, I have um, Innocence Undone. Then I have Nice Secrets. I know a lot of my friends have been reading this one recently. This one is stunning. And then I also have Silk and Steel. This one is also just amazing. I've read one Cat Martin and I hated it. So hopefully I like these ones though. I own two Judith McNaught books. We have Tender Triumph. And then I also have Until You. I have Charming the Prince by Teresa Medrio. So I think that's how you say her name. And this is the Pretty Step Back. I also have this Teresa Medrios. This was another discard book from my library. Um, I don't know anything about this one, but I knew that I already owned a book by her. So I just decided to save it from being trashed. <laughs> I then own four Kathy Maxwell books. This is one of my favorite step backs ever. Um, we have Married in Haste by her. This is one of my favorite step backs of all time. Ignore the dog scratching at me. <laughs> I also have The Price of Indiscretion. I, this is so beautiful. This step back, this one says, passion always underlined has its price. Oh my gosh. I also have the marriage contract. All of her step backs are always so stunning. And then the last one I own by her is the seduction of an English lady. And then one of the only Viking romances that I love is the Viking Chiefs Marriage Alliance by Lucy Morris. I love Lucy Morris. I really recommend her books. I think she has two out, only two books out. They're both Viking romances and her third one is going to be out very soon. I still need to read the arc for that. Um, but this one is very kindly gifted to me by Rachel over at Rachel Reese and Sings. Thank you so much, Rachel. I love you. Um, this is one of my favorite books I read last year. And if you want a good Viking romance, this one's it. And then the last book on this shelf was uh, Here Comes the Bride by Pamela Morsey. This is the step back for this one. And this was another one of my, the discard books at uh, my library too. We're almost done. We're on to my last shelf. These authors start with the letter M and then it goes all the way to W. First, I have A Necessary Husband by Deborah Mullins. I adore this one because of her hair, honestly. <laughs> Next is Defy, D Defiant, man, I can't speak, Defiant Enchantress by Kit Prate. This one gives me a lot of Sleeping Beauty vibes for some reason. And then I also have The Last War Black by Karen Rainey. There's a step back for this one. A romance book that I own and love is My Darling Duke by Stacey Reed. This is an amazing like fake fiance romance. I love it. I also have Flame by Evelyn Rogers. And then we have Midnight Sins by Evelyn Rogers as well. And then I got this one, I think, uh, at the discard pile of my library. I don't know what this is about, but it has pink edges and like, it just looks cool. So that's why I got it. I then own quite a few Lindsay Sands, even though she's not my favorite. A historical romance author. These were ones I purchased like at the beginning of my historical romance journey when I first started buying them. I now know better. I know that Lindsay Sands isn't for me, but I do like keeping her books because like I love the covers and they're really pretty and I can keep whatever I want on my shelves. So first I have a uh, Devil of the Highlands. Next is Taming the Highland Bride. Then is uh, The Highlander Takes a Bride. There's not really a step back here. That's what happens with some of her books. Like it just has that. Um, next is Falling for the Highland Warrior. I haven't read this one, but it has another one of those fake step backs. And then I also have read Always. I don't remember anything about this book though, but I love her and her hair. Are you kidding me? Gorgeous. Next is Border Bride by Amanda Scott. Another one with a raised couple. Like you can see them being raised here. So stunning. And this one even has like a, a horse in the back and everything. This one is just so cute. Next I have a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Um, like all of these books in this series are fairy tale romance retellings. So this one is The Gentle Beast by Colleen uh, Shannon. And then this one has one of, I love when step backs have like cutouts in them. And so this is the cutout step back. Next is A Notorious Vow by Joanna Shoup. I love this book so stinking much. This is an arranged marriage romance, friends to lovers. We have a heroine who has social anxiety and a hero who cannot hear. Um, and I love it. This one was very kindly gifted to me by Spirit. I love you so much, Spirit. Thank you so much. Um, but I love this book so much and I really recommend it. Next, I have The Duchess Diaries by Barbara Dawson Smith. I love this one because look, she's holding a book. It gives me a lot of Beauty and the Beast vibes, honestly. And then the last book that I have on this shelf slash cart is The Lily and the Leopard by Susan Wiggs. 
this is the step back for this one. It's so beautiful. I love like the sunset on the lake or a river, whatever it is, and the bridge. And then her dress is obviously stunning too. So there you have it. Those are all of the books that I own that are historical romances that are mass market paperbacks. I own like maybe like two Lisa Claypus books and Tessa Dares in hardcover, but they're like double stacked in the shelf next to me. So they're not on this one. We're not gonna know that they exist. I own them in another form. <laughs> Let me know down below what book you think I should read first or if you've owned any of these or any of these are interesting to you to add to your collection. Let me know. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.